who surely needs no introduction, the Mayor's Cycling Commissioner, Andrew Gilligan. Thank you, guys. Um, as, uh, as Chris Hune said to uh, Vicky Price, I just need to get three points across to you. First, what we have been doing. Second, what's happening next. And third, what we need from you to make sure that it does happen. First thing up, six weeks time, is our first Zone 1 segregated cycle route. Detailed designs published for consultation in July, construction starting in October. It's the uh, intersection of Cycle Super Highway 5. It'll be a fully segregated track from Westminster across Vauxhall Bridge and all the way through the nastiest gyratory in London, Vauxhall Gyratory. A completely traffic free route which will make a significant difference to thousands of cyclists. That's coming in July, construction beginning in October. Then in September, our plans for the oval itself, segregated lanes on Cycle Superhighway 7 to be constructed later this year. Also in September, detailed consultation on a further three new segregated cycle routes. The east-west superhighway, that's the one through the city, Parliament Square and in front of Buckingham Palace, fully segregated again. The place where you are standing now will be on a segregated cycle route. It won't be quite as full of bicycles as it is today, but about a quarter of the road will be given over to a protected cycle lane with a track all the way down this street. So that's one. September. Consultation in September, construction starting next year. Next in September, the long, the uh, long-awaited upgrade to Cycle Superhighway 2. That's uh, all gate to bow. Uh, that will be fully and semi-segregated. Fully segregated for about 65% of the way, with curb segregation, wand segregation for the rest, new cycle-safe junctions, fully protected to de-conflict cyclists and turning traffic. That's September, consult uh, consultation in September. And finally, the final three, the final one of the three in September is the North-South Superhighway, which will run along here, along across Blackfriars Bridge. With this, this is going to be the main junction point. Uh, this is going to, junction is going to be remodelled. It's going to go from Elephant and Castle to Kings Cross. Also fully segregated, uh, with a bit of low traffic streets at the northern, right at the northern end, where it's, uh, the streets are too narrow to get segregated cycleway in. All those in September. Construction beginning next year. Then, in October, Cycle Superhighway 1 from the city to Tottenham, the remodelling of the Apex Junction in Shoreditch and the remodelling of the Old Street Roundabout, which is going to be ripped out and replaced with a fully segregated scheme. These designs I approved last week. Next month, too, we are starting to build our first two quietways. Quietway 2 from Waterloo to Greenwich, where I happen to live. Quietway 38 from Bloomsbury via Islington, where the mayor lives, to Hackney. Uh, and uh, we're preparing another six, which we will announce over the summer. But every one of those schemes I just described has had to be fought for. And that's, that's my point one, as it were. I'm doing it second. Uh, what we have been doing. Every single one of those schemes has had to be fought for. Negotiated over months with the boroughs, who own 95% of the roads, with local businesses, with residents, with the people who run the buses, who are going to take significant impacts on some of the schemes, with TfL traffic management, with the police, with other stakeholders, including Parliament, the Royal Parks, and indeed the Royal Family, because it's going right past Buckingham Palace. Now, I understand the impatience at this grinding process, but that is the price of living in a democracy. It's a price of making changes to what are highly contested spaces. This, this, this closure itself, we've had God knows how many emails about this closure. It's going to cause traffic jams all the way. And this is like two hours on a Saturday afternoon. Um, and you know, so that's, that's the kind of thing we've been fighting on a much larger scale. Uh, I have to say also consultation, engagement, that kind of thing takes a while. But actually, it is usually in practice quicker than trying to bulldoze through change, which risks causing backlash and delay. 
Now, there are people here, I know, who say that because they can't see the cycling program happening, it can't be happening at all. But it is happening, and that's what we've been doing. There are no magic wands. There are no shortcuts in any of this. But it's not over. Don't think for a second that it's over. The next, we, we've taken the time to uh, bring potential opponents on board. But some of these plans and others will still, I predict, cause a lot of opposition. We are taking away road space. We are taking away parking. We are taking away some bus lanes. And that is where we need you. The next six months are going to be a test of strength. We will see whether the forces for cycling are stronger than the forces against cycling. We are already seeing significant opposition building up some of our schemes. In Enfield, for instance, actually a candidate standing in the council elections in Palmer's Green next week against, specifically against, our Mini Holland scheme, which is going to give £30 million to, uh, to, uh, to Enfield. But that's the kind of thing you've got to fight. You've got to get in there. You've got to fight the fights where they need to be fought. Not always City Hall. I mean, you can slag us off if you want. I don't mind. Uh, God knows, you know, I really don't mind. But basically, you've won the argument there. The place you've got to fight is on the ground, locally, in the boroughs, starting with the elections on Thursday, and I look forward to joining the fight with you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andrew. We do appreciate the fact you've come to the stage today. It's not always easy for you to put your case, but it's good of you to come to the stage and, and uh, put it across to the public. So thank you for coming.